Okay, so the, the other thing to understand about the difference between working views and sheet views is the difference between view dependent elements and view independent elements. So a pipe is an excellent example of an element that is view independent. It exists on any view that you've got open that in which you know you have pipes visible and uh, it's in the it's in the view range. Um, in other words, you can see it with any camera that you apply to it. View dependent uh, elements are things like tags, like a pipe tag or text, or or whatever. So this text, this tag, it's only going to show up on this view that I made right here. You're not going to be able to create any other view and see this stuff. So this is where the distinction between working views and sheet views comes into play. Because, uh, you know, on our, in our sheets, we want to be showing stuff. Uh, we want to be showing tags and text and things like that. So, um, the reason we split, the reason we don't just do all of our work in sheet views like this one is because uh, there are view settings for this view that make it slow to work in uh, in, in Revit. Um, and that setting is this guy right here, visual style, hidden line. Uh, Revit thinks really hard to display a view that's in hidden line but it looks the best. So all of our sheet views are set to hidden line, uh, but our working views are either set to wireframe or shaded so that they're fast. So in our working views, uh, and also the reason is that in this view, we don't want to see things like pipe, but when you're modeling duct, you do want to see pipe and electrical equipment and everything else so that you can see if you're running into it. Uh, clash avoidance is always cheaper and faster than clash resolution. So in your working views, you want to be able to see all this other stuff. Even if you're just modeling duct, you want to be able to see pipes so that you know not to run into it. Whereas in the sheet view, you want this stuff off so that you can actually communicate what's going on in your model. The, uh, so you want to be modeling things like ducts and VAV boxes and pipes and things in a working view. But when it comes time to tag stuff, to annotate stuff, and to fill out the sheet view so that they look good, you do have to come into the... Uh, the sheet view and, and tag stuff. And again, when you do that, this stuff only shows up in this view. It's not going to show up in a different view. So that's the difference between uh, view dependent and view independent elements.